Hello, this is Aaron Dominion, and I'm going to show you how to use the Champollion GUI. I'm going to use my development environment just because it's already set up with the path. Um, you have to have the Champollion tool installed. I have the 64-bit version, so I installed the 64-bit version here. Install the 32-bit version if you need to. Alright, let's look at the tool that started down here. So, boom, here's the interface that you're going to see whenever you launch the EXE. You have an about that just says, hey, what this program is. If you get lost at any moment in time, which um, I can foresee that since this is going to be new to people, you have a help document that just pops up. It's a text file, and it has the steps you should take in order to run this tool. So now, let's go and find our scripts folder. I'm going to use my A drive because that's where I keep everything. We're going to use modding just because it's a weird name. And then script decompile test. This is where it's going to be at. So, And now you can have it compile or output to the same location or you can choose a different location if you do. Notice this button over here now highlights, so you can use that button. Go through the list, and uh, let's look inside the actual folder. Let's use the source folder. Generate assembly, output assembly in different location. So this generates what the theoretical assembly should be for the script, which if you're familiar with uh, assembly tools out there, it'll be a lot of addresses. It won't matter to most people, but for those that care or are curious about it, that's why you would use the generate assembly checkbox. Uh, if you checkbox the output assembly in different location, this button highlights to select the assembly destination. So. Let's go back and find our assembly folder. And now generate comments. If you want the source document to have comments saying this was generated by Champollion, you check that. If everything looks good, you have a run button at the bottom. It'll ask, are you sure you want to run it? Do yes. Because there's only one file, it executed really quick. You notice the command prompt window came up because it's this program is executing Champollion, so it has to open up the command prompt, and then it gives you this uh, nice message if no errors occurred during the process, saying Champollion has successfully processed all files. Verify your scripts. Note events will be listed as functions. And then once you're finished, you can do exit, or you can change all the settings and do another run. Or you can do the same run again, and it will regenerate the files. Let's look over here. Yep, there's the assembly right there. And if we look in the source, it's right here. And it has the decompiled by Champollion at the top. And it has other information. So that's uh, how this works. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to message me on YouTube or on the Nexus mod page. Uh, enjoy. Uh, hope this helps you out.